If you're seeing this video, the universe has a message for you. Today we're going to be reading from our beginner's tarot cards. These are classic tarot Rider Waite deck, but these are so cool. If y'all have been following my series where we're learning about the Major Arcana, then you will have seen these already. They have the little like basic meanings on them, along with like what elements they're associated with. All that kind of good stuff. They're really great if you're just learning. I don't really need these cards per se, but I did buy them because I want to give them a try. Check them out. See if they'd be a useful tool to those of you who are learning. I feel they will. I wish I had had a deck of these when I started. Oh, here we go cleansing. They also came with this cool little baggie. And I want to say they were like $7.99 on Amazon. So you can't beat that for a beginner deck. Let's put our energy into these cards. What message does the universe have for the viewer today? What sort of guidance or takeaway do we need today? Hmm. Okay, let's cut the deck. I'm just feeling called to cut this deck twice. That's what I'm doing. Okay, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Sun. Wow, this is a great reading. Okay, so we're talking about being emotionally balanced, compassionate, diplomatic, in control, supportive leader, and empathetic. That's the King of T Cups. That's what we have listed here for the basic. Um, upright, it says compassion, comfort, calm, nurturing, healing, emotionally stable, intuitive. Then upright, it says positivity, pleasure, happiness, vitality, fun, joy, warmth, celebration, success, rebirth, all is well. Wow. What a great spread. So King of Cups. Wow. This tells me that you have started to master your emotional state. You are using your wise mind, working somewhere between that emotional sense of feelings that you get over a given situation and balancing that with things like logic and understanding and breaking down the components like with your mind and kind of looking at the whole picture. You know, that's, I'm really proud of you. This feels like healing to me. This feels like you've been doing some inner work, possibly, you know, shedding some toxic behaviors, shedding some generational trauma. I very much am sensing the vibe that it wasn't always this easy for you to stay emotionally balanced in the face of adversity, but you're doing it now and you're doing a great job. And that has led you to a place where you're able to be more compassionate of others and more empathetic. And you have a lot of, you know, tolerance and patience for other people's uh, emotional states as well now that you have a better understanding and a better balance of your own. And compassion, you have been holding space for some people. You've been making yourself available for other people to sort of unburden their own thoughts and feelings. And that's a beautiful thing. You know, you've been coming with compassion. You've been emotionally stable. I mean, these cards are like, you know, hand in hand. I mean, we've got the king and queen here. You're just really when it comes to cups with your emotional state, you're just really balanced right now and you're really able to help others with that insight that you have learned about yourself. And it's going to pay off because I see success here. You know, we talk a lot sometimes about like karma and karmic debt and things like that. But the thing is, when you're holding space for other people, making space for them and being compassionate, and learning to balance out your own feelings, then what is coming for you is success. 
that wheel of karma is going to turn and it's going to turn in your favor because you've been doing this work, because you've been doing this self work, and also because you've been compassionate, open, giving of yourself. So be prepared for it because good things are starting to happen. Positivity, pleasure, happiness. You're going to see some fun coming up in your life. You're going to see some goals being set and met. You're going to be seeing some success in whatever that looks like to you. And I think that you know. I think because you've been working on your own emotional state and understanding of yourself and things like that, I think you know what it is that you're wanting to to feel, to gather out of life. And whether that's just like, you know, adventure or happiness, or maybe there's a specific career path you want to take, it looks like now is the time to do it. Because the sun, my friend, this is like big happy, positive, abundant, successful energy. And it's all yours because you've been doing the work to get there.